So a 2-2 two -two draw with Mars today. How are you feeling after that one? Yeah, really pleased. Um, I thought the boys were excellent today. Their effort, their character, their attitude, their togetherness to, to get something out of the game was, was first class. But we understand Mars, uh, probably the best team in, in this league. They've just had a fantastic FA Cup run. They've done themselves proud and this, this level proud. But, um, we, we, we changed our formation because we knew how they wanted to play. They're very good, quite direct, very fast and moving the ball forward, penetrating with their runs and, and, their, and their passing. And we tried to stop that and frustrate them, make them go sideways and backwards. And for, for a lot, they had a lot more possession than us, but they went, a lot of it was sideways, into feet and back. And, and it allowed us to, to, to stop them playing their, their normal game. Um, Obviously, if it was on possession, they'd have won the game, but it wasn't. We had good opportunities. We got our goal from a good free kick, good movement, and finished by Scott. Really disappointing. Again, um, 40 minutes we scored, five minutes ago, we didn't see it out one until half time. Um, something we've got to get out, eradicate from our game, um, conceding quickly after we've scored. We regroup at half time, a uh, couple of minor changes, and just stop their fullbacks a little bit more. And again, Another sort of soft goal penalty, it wasn't a great cross over uh, John Lemon's head, he just, his arms were up because he's trying to elevate himself and he's hit his hand and the, and the ref's given it and it's, it's disappointing and, and another day, if we didn't have as much character and resilience we could have caved and lost 3-4, 5-1 but we didn't, we kept going, we had the chances, great block uh, of uh, Josh Nodders run to the front post from Mangy's set and then a great save off Sam Fillmore's volley that easily could have got back into us. Then we had good play to get to get our penalty evened up and great composure um, and confidence by Luke Mangum to, to equalise and then we defended and then again had a couple half chances on the counter attack. So to get a point at home against the best team in this league, um, really pleased for the players. Yeah, so the stats obviously look very good out of this one. We're the first team in the league to get points out of Marsk that aren't Liversidge. The first team scored two goals past uh, Marsk that aren't Liversidge. And this is the first time we've got a point from a losing position since Belper last year before you came in. Well, so, it's, yeah, it's brilliant. Like, it sounds great. Ultimately, we want three points. But I've just said to them there, we've been here six weeks. We know where we're at. We know what we want. We're very much about the standards. The culture we want to create, what we want to do on and off the pitch. I said, look, if we want these players with us. They seem to be with us. Their response since we've come in has been excellent. We want to move this club forward and to do what you've just said there, to score two goals against Mars, to come back from 2-1 down um, and to be the first team to take something off, off Mars since Liverpool is, is first class and the boys have got to take confidence of that moving forward. Yeah, no, obviously the first goal was scored by Scott Ruffin today. Now he's had a bit of stick from the fans at times this season from the crowd, so how happy are you to see him get on the score sheet and well silence some of those doubters? Scott cares. Scott is 100 percent committed to this football club. He's been 100 percent committed to us. He works really hard. He works hard off the ball and works hard with the ball. Um, he responded well for being being left out. Uh, and today we, we played at sort of a four of four midfielders uh, with the most advanced and, and he's worked really hard again. He's got his rewards with the goal. And if the ball had fallen a bit more kindly to him uh, on the edge of the box second half, maybe we've got a second. So yeah, I'm pleased for Scott, I'm pleased for all players. Um, we treat all players equally. Um, we want all players to do well. So you mentioned your tactics. Obviously, it looked like we sat a lot deeper than we normally do today. We obviously only play one winger. That was a conscious decision to tackle Mask specifically. It was, yeah. We knew they pushed their usually wing backs. They changed to four. Their full backs really high. And we were happy for their centre half to have the ball. And their deepest midfielders have it in his own half. And then we sort of engaged them when they came into our half and really got out quickly to their to their full backs and really stop any ball into uh, Boys Nine, who's top goal scorer, and and ten running from late. And it, and it worked well. The only time they got chances first half like that is when we switched off um, from a from a straight pass. Um, and then second half again, we had to make a couple of good saves, but, but they didn't carve us open too many times. So next up, we're back in the cup against Rossington Main in the Sheffield Cup that we know you are very passionate about winning. Last time we faced Rossington, you were on the score sheet. <laughs> I won't be on the score sheet, score sheet Tuesday, I know that. Uh, look, we want to win there, Rossington are a good side. Rossington are top five side in Division 1. Uh, the pitch is excellent for football. <laughs> Uh, we're going to take it very seriously, whatever 11 we set up, we're going to go win the game, we'll see a different style of play than we did today, we'll take the game to them, we'll play on the front foot, um, but yeah, we want to win on Tuesday. Thank you very much Ian. Cheers Adam, thank you.